Shall we play a game? Hello there and welcome back to Vintage Gaming Memories. I just received this in the mail yesterday and I love the idea and the concept of it so much that I had to share this with my Atari 8-bit mates. Now if you don't know what this is, you definitely want to watch this video because it's pretty cool. And as you can see, I liked it so much, I got two of them. Let me take this out and show you a little bit closely what this is. So what this little one inch by half inch device really does is something that you'd think, why wasn't this done already? Not that I would be able to do it myself, but it's a pretty cool concept, like I said earlier, and I think it kind of gives it away when you see that little opening right there. So yeah, this is something that you would plug into your Atari 8-bit computers, specifically the Atari 600XL, 800XL, and the XE lines. And... By looking at the back here, you can kind of tell right away what it goes into, right? So this goes into the back of your computer, into the power supply port. Yes, this is what you'll be using instead of the bulky power supply that you normally have to plug in, the big brick. This will be the replacement of it. And right here is a USB-C connection, and that's all you need. What an interesting, simple concept. But again, I couldn't have figured out how to do this, so I'm glad there are people out there like Moswald and Thomas Cherry Holmes and Lathorac and Flash Jazz Cat and Candle, just to name a few. I mean, these are some creative minds in the Atari world that I am glad to know that exist out there and give you great products such as this. So how cool is that? Moswald is selling these on his website, which I'll put a link in the description. And um, let's take a look at this a little bit closely which I see something there I like to do, which is unscrew it. Now I guess I'm gonna avoid my warranty, right? Okay, so you can see here that it is a 3D print and as noted on the website, it was intentionally a 3D print in bone white, so it does match the XL line of color scheme, which is great. And here is the back side of it. You can see the connection that would go into the back of your computer. And then here is the inside of it. Let me just hold it so you can see it better. So you will need to supply your own USB-C cable, which I'm sure everyone has one lying around. And then the 5 volt USB supply, which you could have one built into the wall. You can have an adapter plug from other devices, but make sure it's the 5 volt one. But that, again, is very common, so it's, everything you need is pretty accessible. Also noted on his site about this, there's a built-in 2 amp fuse for protection, which is pretty cool. But anyways, I uh, just want to show you the inside, how it looks. Not that we're going to do much more than just examine it. We're going to try this thing out and see how it works. I just like that it's less clutter, especially for me with all the stuff I have just lying around. I want to have more area to just have my main unit, not have all these cables everywhere and worry about cable management. So this is pretty cool. Probably get more because I do have a few more that I would like to use and not have to keep unplugging it if I want to get things in and out. This is so nice to just leave it plugged in. But let's give it a try here. All right, we're going to try it on my 800XL and let's unplug what I have currently in the back. I have a pretty nice modern adapter, which is this one here. Got it from 8-Bit Classics, a very cool adapter as well, so definitely nicer than what I had before, which is the original one, the big brick that you could see over there. But let's see how this one works out. Okay, so you can see right here, that's the power in, and we'll just push it in the right way. Fits nicely, look at that, it clears the little bit of a edge there on the top of the case 
So I definitely leave this plugged in all along. I never have to unplug it. Just supply my USB-C connection and I'm all good. And speaking of that, I do have a couple of them, like I said. People probably have this lying around everywhere. Just make sure it's a USB-C, otherwise it won't connect in. And we'll just use, let's use this red one. It's nice and long. So that's my USB-C connection going right in to the back. You hear a little snap in there when it goes in, it makes connection. So what I have plugged into my outlet onto my workbench on that corner is this. This has two types of USB connections. There's two USB-A ports and one USB-C fast charging port. I'll be using the USB-A one. It's probably best to make sure it's at least 1.5 amps, especially if you have mods or add-ons to your PC like FujiNet and the Ultimate 1 megabyte. All right, ready to go. Let's see what happens. How awesome is that? This is all I have to worry about is making enough room and having this out of the way. The main part of it is going to be always plugged in, which is so sweet. I just have to get the cable and find an outlet to plug it in. Now, I did test this on five systems that I have, and I was successful with the fitment on the Atari 600XO. The Atari 800XL. And the XEGS. The 65XE. And the 130XE. Now don't get me wrong, this was a pretty cool adapter as well. This was a nice upgrade from the original. And um, if you don't have a USB supply, obviously you might have something that could plug right into the wall to get power. But nowadays, like I said, they have built-in ones. I have a few of those that are just built into the wall. And the one I just showed you, you could plug into the uh, outlet and then you have your USB supply there. So there's a lot of options. Chances are you will have one. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give you a glimpse of this pretty cool adapter that could be used instead of having some bulky size adapter plugged in for your Atari XE computers or the 600 and 800 XLs. Cable management is definitely benefiting from this as well as less space taken up on or below your desk by not having that bulky adapter. You just plug this in and supply the USB-C cable. I hope you liked this video. Please be sure to subscribe and until next time, Keep that gaming passion from the past alive by living it today. Take care, everyone.